Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to start a new series of vlogging on house building because currently I'm in the process of house building and through the experience I've just gotten so many tips and tricks and what to look out for. I really wish that I had all this information beforehand. So what I'm trying to do is to make sure the information is out there so that you can look out for these things if you're building a house. Now I've had a couple of thoughts on how to approach this. At first I wanted to wait until the end um, after the process has gone through and then just do a reflection. That's my clock, if you can hear it. Now I've considered a couple of ways on how to approach this. Initially I was thinking to wait until the construction has finished and then just do a reflection back from the start and think through the process from there. But then I realized that there's so many things that's happened in the middle of the way that I may forget at the end. So I've decided to, to change that and just talk through the process, the, the issues, the hurdles, the barriers, the tips as they come along. So that's why I'm going to start sort of in the middle of the construction process, which is where I'm at now. And today's topic, as mentioned in the title, is about your energy rating. Let's get into it. So when you, when you build a house, there is a minimum energy rating that the house needs to comply with. And at this moment in Victoria in 2019, that requirement is six star energy rating. That means if you wanna build a house, that house needs to be rated at six star energy rating for the house to be approved, the house design and the house plan to be approved by the council. Uh, that's, that's great news. Uh, your builder will then present to you with, these are the required upgrades that you need to make in order for your house to fit the minimum standard, which is the six star energy rating. Let me tell you my story. Last year, I'm gonna take you back to 12 months ago. So last year, around this same time, uh, around February, I guess, Fe February or March of last year, um, Burbank gave me this energy requirements and I'm going to show it right here on screen. It is the energy requirements spec sheet. That is a, the a minimum standard through Burbank's, through their assessment process. This is the minimum standards of upgrades that I need to do in order for my house to fit the six star energy rating. As you can see here on the list, it includes an upgrade of double glazed windows um, on the ground floor as well as the first floor. It includes an upgrade of insulation, um, uh, amongst other things. The total cost was over $7,000 and through some really difficult negotiation, Burbank has agreed that they would absorb the cost, but also to ensure that my house fulfills the six star energy rating requirements. Thumbs up. That's like really great news. I was really pleased with that outcome. I was not provided any further documentation around the requirements of the six star energy rating. So in my understanding, these upgrades would have been done um, and the cost associated with them is um, absorbed by Burbank. Fast forward to about 12 months later, in April, uh, I've started construction. My house is at currently at frame stage. So I am on site uh, doing my site visits and I'm checking these elements, which are the upgrades. Is there a double glazed set of doors as was stipulated in the requirements? And when I get there, what do you think I find out? No, it's a single glazed sliding door. So it's, it's not the same with this document. Obviously, started to be concerned. Um, I rang the office. Only then did my, did the office, um, and they're called new home coordinator or something like that. Your new home coordinator then um, would inform me that the site supervisor that I was trying to contact no longer works for Burbank. I raised with the office with my new home coordinator about this energy rating mistake. 
is what I called it. I said this document stipulates that it needed to be a, a double glazed sliding door and it wasn't. So my new home coordinator said, oh, let me investigate for you. And the next day she got back to me and said, actually, it is correct. It is not double glazing. It's meant to be single glazing. And here's the energy requirements to prove it. She sent me a completely different document from the one that I had before. And I'm gonna show it right here. So here's the one that I had before. And now she's showing me a second document, which I've never seen before. And here it is. And it actually says, the minimum requirements for your house is single glazing throughout the house. So, what do you think of this? In my view, how convenient. After Burbank has approved to absorb the cost, all of a sudden, all the requirements that I was told are minimum requirements are actually not minimum requirements. They're not required at all. My learning is that to be careful with the additional cost of minimum energy requirements that Burbank gives you because, or any other builder, not just Burbank, just be careful. In my view, from my experience, the first possible outcome is that the, those re minimum required upgrades of double glazing and yada, yada, yada for $7,000 was never required from the start. That means the second report is actually accurate. That means they're just trying to make more money. Or the second alternative to that is the first report is actually accurate. The second report is your builder trying to cut corners because they've agreed to absorb the cost and how convenient that all the costs are no longer there. So I'm investigating this further. Um, I'm getting in touch with Nathers, that's N-A-T-H-E-R-S. That is the organization that provides the ratings. So I'm going to get in touch with them. Um, I'm going to ask them to clarify. This is my own personal investigation, and I suggest you probably do the same thing during your house build. If there's any alarm bells that you start getting concerned with, what I've been doing, and I recommend you do the same, one is query that with your builder. But also, I would do my own little, not little, sometimes it's thorough, investigation on the side to find the answer as well. So. I'm gonna keep you updated in my next video to just to give a follow-up of, so what's the outcome? What is the response from um, Burbank, from my new homeowner coordinator? I'm asking her, how can two assessments of the same property in the same time be completely the opposite when there has been no change? I'm waiting to hear back from her and I will keep you updated. Let me know. Um, what else you'd like to know if you want to know more or if you have any questions just fill in the comments below and i'll try to answer them from my experience as best as i can all the best with your house build see you in the next video